Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs. B, your Catholic art teacher. Happy New Year to everyone. Boys and girls, this new term, we are going to do painting. And so what I would require for the first class is your painting supplies. So um, we're going to be doing primary colours. So we're going to be mixing different colours using these three colours. And the primary colours are red, yellow and blue. So boys and girls, um, let's get started. First of all, you will need your palette. And I've already put the colours and mixed some colours from my previous videos, but I can show you the process again if you wish. And we're going to create a colour wheel like this. Okay, so the first thing you need to, to know is that primary colours, red, yellow and blue, are the first colours. These are colours that you can't mix to get them. You need the primary colours for you to mix together to get a new colour. So, boys and girls, um, let's get started. The first thing I need you to do is to um, make a colour wheel like this. All right. And what I have done is just the same thing as this simple um, color wheel, but I've added circles. Um, you can use different, um, I, I have this um, different shapes here. Well, they're all circles, but different sizes to create my circle. And I've also got the circle around my water um, container so whatever you may have you know um, the lid of my candle so this is another um, circle that you could use to um, trace over so go around your house and look to see what many different circles uh, things that are circle that you can draw around and trace around. So I've got, I got uh, um, this circle from the cover of a container and I traced it around. Then I drew three lines equal with equal space apart uh, to create segments for my color wheel. And what I'm going to do, boys and girls, I'm going to color each of the segments in um, the different colors. So it's going to be primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and the secondary colors, which is going to be when you mix red and yellow, you will get orange. When you mix yellow and blue, you will get the uh, um, complementary color green. And when you uh, mix the blue and the red, you will get the complementary color purple. So we have primary colors, and out of the primary colors, we are going to get complementary colors. So, boys and girls, let's get started. So you get your paintbrush, like I was saying in my previous vi in videos, your paintbrushes you can have. You can get different sizes, but it's preferable to get a, a paintbrush with a tip so that you'll be able to paint the corners when you have to. So I'm got, if you have this small paintbrush, yeah, you can use it, but it's going to take you a lot longer. So boys and girls, you start off with your paintbrush you, you, and you need a rag to wipe off any excess paint or water and if in case the paints may bleed into each other you can just mop it up so the first thing you do you um we're going to use red so i'm going to put some uh, red paint into my palette like this and then we're going to mix it together to get this lovely vibrant red so this was a red that i previously mixed so that's quite all right and then we're going to uh, paint our red. So what we're going to do, 
we're going to do first do the color wheel and we're going to just very quickly paint that in like that oops i just went over because of those paints uh, knocked my hand out of the way but that's fine you know when you come across something like that you just try to um dab it off with your rag and then continue with this uh, try to do it as carefully as you can cut a uh, painting within the lines that you have and then you use the thicker part of your brush by adding a bit more pressure to it so that it can cover your the area that you want to paint so this is red it needs another layer of um, red paint so you can leave it to dry and just add another layer to it that would be fine all right so that's your red so we're going to put the yellow yellow so you wash your paintbrush like that wash it clean because usually if you leave your paintbrush with paint left over and you try to mix it up it may make it muddy so you add a little bit of yellow like that to drop that would be fine all right and um, you mix it up like that This is a lot thicker than the red. Some paints you get to have different consistency. That's fine. You just work around it. Like the red, you would need another layer. But this yellow, it looks like it would not need another uh, layer. So you just go ahead. Try not to go over your lines as much as you can. So boys and girls, colors is... A beautiful thing it is um, it depicts everything around us we have to thank God that we are able to see with there's some people who are not able to see the beauty of the world and um, yet God created so much beautiful and vivid um, animals and plants and everything else and it's just so beautiful that we are able to have that gift to see and with this the colors can um, display emotions you know colors can show different emotions and um, yeah so using colors this way um, you can like the yellow it depicts uh, happiness, the mood of uh, happiness. The red is um, what you would find like in everyday signs. It would say do not or uh, it's like a, a danger sign, you know. So uh, red can also depict anger. It can also depict embarrassment, you know, like when you get embarrassed you go red in your face so you wash over your paintbrush we're gonna go and do the last primary color which is blue and I think we need a little bit more blue here so we're gonna pour this blue paint right here in this palette like that all right because we're gonna be using more of these colors because we're gonna do another project after this so make sure you wash your paintbrush really thoroughly because that if you have yellow and you put it with the blue, it will turn it to a different color. So we're going to just go straight with the blue like this, like that. And then we're going to just paint it up in this lovely sea blue. Now blue is a beautiful serene color. It's actually the color of our Blessed Mother as well. We, we associate blue with our Blessed Mother. And uh, blue is another... A color that symbolizes emotion like you know if you're feeling cold you would use this and and blue is also a cold color and um, the red and the yellow is more the warm color and um, yeah so with this you just um, You just try not to go over the edges. So blue depicts the mood. 
a nice cool a serene mood you know um they say when you there's a little poem that goes blue blue god loves you it's, a, it's because blue is such a beautiful color and like i said it's the color of our blessed mother so there you have it boys and girls you have your primary colors so what we're going to do we're going to take some of that red and some of that yellow and we're going to make some orange so let's go ahead and do that so i'm just gonna i have some um red here and i'm just gonna add some yellow to it and then hopefully we're gonna get this really brilliant yellow all right so wash your paint brushes always wash your paintbrush in between colors because the colors can um Stay in the, 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 the paintbrush and then it can cause uh, the new colour that you're creating to be muddy. So we don't want that. We want it to be lovely and, and um, bright. And, all right, so this is an a orange, but we're going to add a little bit more yellow because I think it's too, it's maybe a little too vibrant. So just add a little bit, still a little bit, but a big blob of yellow came out. So we're just going to just do a little bit on that side because we, it might be too, um, yeah, that's better, don't you think? I think that's a nice orange, don't you think, boys and girls? So we're going to say red and yellow makes, ooh, look at this vibrant orange. Oh, that is a lovely orange, I must say. And so we... Um, And it's amazing, boys and girls, how you can just create all different shades of or, or hues of color because, you know, just look at that. It's, um, look at this orange that I made in a previous video compared to this orange. So it's because I added more red to this um, and it caused it to be a deep, rich orange. What can you as associate with this color orange? What what are the different items can you um, associate with colors? You know, there are so many things. I mean, the thing, the first thing that comes to mind are fruit, and it's with the name, the namesake orange. So there you have it, and it's a tangy color. You know, I think of um, that that tang. Tang, um, Tizer, or how do you call it? The um, orange flavor of those fizzy drinks. Anyway, you know what I mean. So, boys and girls, there you have it. So, any excess color, all you need to do is just let it go back. Just what you can do, you can just um, let, uh, try to let it take it off of your brush as much as you can and just rinse the rest of your thoroughly you try to rinse off your paintbrush and then we're going to do the green so um green is blue and yellow mixed together we have green already here but i'm just going to go ahead and show you if i add in a little bit of blue to this mixture and Two drops of yellow maybe we're gonna get a lovely green all right so we can still add a little bit of um You can still add a little bit more of that um, yellow to make it a little lighter, but I think this is a nice color. So I'm going to go ahead and use this green. So here we have the green. And like I said, every color you make, sometimes it's very difficult. It's with practice that you can get the exact same color that you made. So that's why when you make green, you have to make 
enough that you'll be able to cover whatever you are doing you'll be able to paint it in without having to mix it again and then you get two different shades as we're amateurs and we're just starting off in painting we just want to make sure that we have enough paint so that we can cover the area there's sufficient paint so that we are able to cover the area that we are painting all right and boys and girls there you have it um, and then we're going to do red and blue to get a purple for the next um, color mixing activity so we're going to mix the red with the purple with the blue to make purple now boys and girls I discovered that sometimes with colors you may need to um, add a little bit of white um, so that it doesn't become too intense in the color so I'm going to go ahead and mix these two colors and I may have to get some white to um, make it a little lighter so let's just see what happens let me just wash my paint brushes brick paintbrush to ensure that there's no green in my paintbrush so you have to really wash it out and use your rag and wipe out any excess okay and so we're going to mix this around okay that's all right that's fine it's a nice vibrant purple sometimes you can get the purple looking a little bit um, on the reddish side you can get and in my last video what I did um, I had it looking a little blue so I had to add red but this one's just fine it's just got the right consistency um, and yeah there we have it we've got a lovely purple right there and then all right so there you have it boys and girls our color wheel now what I would invite you to do, because I'm going to go straight into a different activity right away, but I'm going to invite you to continue painting to get um, different colours because it's going to take too much of the video time and uh, you all will be uh, way beyond the time that's allotted for, VP, for your arts and crafts. So I'm just going to get you all to, on your own, to... Um, in this little portion here, you have all the different shades of purple. So by adding water, um, adding a little bit more red, adding a little bit of more blue, you will get different shades. In this one here, I just want you to um, use water. When you use water, different according to how much water you have, you can make it different um, uh, strength of that blue so you can have light blue and a darker blue and so on so that's what I want you to do or you can add more blue to it to make it really deep blue uh, it's up to you I'll leave that all up to your creativity and in here now I would like you to add white to each of your colors on the color wheel here and you will get a tint all right and here you go, you're going to just use different uh, shades of purple you can even add black as well if you wish to give it dimensions all right so we're going to have tints and then we're going to have shade it's also i wanted to show, point out to you our warm colors are up here and our cool colors are down here on the color wheel so boys and girls let me go straight into the next activity which i have uh, ready for you so I'm going to introduce you to tertiary colors. So by what is tertiary colors, you may ask. Well, tertiary colors are complementary colors um, and you add a primary color to your complementary color. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to start off by... Uh, painting in the primary colors. I need some more red because that red is a little bit. Yeah, I should have. Sh that's what I should have done. I should have shaken the bottle first. So, um, boys and girls, what I was saying is, um, you just 
we're going to mix we're going to put the primary colors down first so let's look at this <clears throat> if you look at the color wheel that we just done we have three uh, one two three four five six segments so what we're going to do we're going to count every three so one two three so the middle of the three we're going to paint in the primary color i'll explain to you i'll explain why so let's just uh, do that now so we're going to paint in the red very quickly because i'm going to show you tertiary colors Tertiary colors is not primary colors. Tertiary color is mixing a primary color to a complementary color. So I'm just going to put in all our primary colors, but it's all about mixing. Color mixing is really a fun thing for us. So try to keep it in the line as you're getting um, the, the lines are getting closer to each other. It becomes a little more finer. So we have done our red so we're going to move on to our next um, uh, color which is yellow next primary color which is yellow so we wash our paintbrush very thoroughly again and um, sometimes you may have to change your water bowl but because of time I will not do that so then let's add a little bit more yellow into this I think I've got enough yellow I just I'll just take some yellow here like that and we're going to paint so that's one two three then one two three so then here we're going to paint the yellow I'll explain it sounds a little bit confusing but you will see when it all comes together I'm Right now, I'm teaching you tertiary colors, which is mixing a primary color to a complementary color. So I'm just going to put down the primary color down first, and then you'll be able to understand more what I'm trying to, what I'm getting at in this activity. So you, re you rinse off your paintbrush again. Right, very thoroughly and we're going to do the blue so then remember yellow and blue makes green so it's one two three so one two three so that one would be the blue color so let me just wash up my paintbrush and then dry it up nicely so that nothing we don't want not any tinge of yellow no nothing coming on when we're mixing we want our colors to be nice and pure so we're going to use up that blue again like that and we're going to color this one in blue so you see our nice vibrant primary colors we cannot mix two colors to make a primary color so the color that's the color that's the first colors that we use whenever we are color painting and and stuff these are these are the colors that we use our main colors that we need and then whenever if you're starting off painting make sure you have the primary colors because with the primary colors you can mix to make new colors all right so there we have it our primary colors at least set and done so boys and girls um we are going to now paint in our secondary colors because we've already mixed our secondary colors i'm just going to go ahead and just put them in so we're going to put in here which is orange so we're going to put in the middle the color orange which we have here already so we just get some orange we load some orange on our brush and then we're going to paint the middle here orange all right So fun to to create colors boys and girls and I'm, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it as much as I am enjoying it um, 
and the, when the more time you take to uh, investigate and to explore your colors you will be able to know how to master your colors well okay so we have orange our next uh um complementary color is can you remember yellow and blue makes green that's right so we're going to get some green I'm going to make some more green because I think that green is not enough. So I'm going to get some green. Going to, let me just put the blue. I think I need to put the purple. I need to make a little bit more blue and yellow. We need more yellow because that blue is powerful so I can see. of that and make sure that the paintbrush is clean from the orange because we will make an, a muddy color if you see you don't wash your paintbrush well you can make a real muddy color so you're going to um, want, try to get your paintbrush wipe it so that when you are mixing now it will mix well so let's just go ahead and mix this up all right okay so that you can get a nice green color so like i said we do put the green here so that's what you'll get when you mix the two colors together so let's just try to paint within the lines i'm trying to hurry that's why you're seeing that my lines are a little bit uh, not um, straight, but boys and girls, I'm sure you can do a better job than me. So let's uh, take your time and do this. But um, it's like a race against the clock with me. I have um, a time limit with my with my time, if you will. So there you have the green, and then the last one. Can you remember the color? Blue and red makes purple, that's right. Sorry boys and girls, um, you will see a big jump from the last um, video to this one. And that's because the camera went off, um, the battery power was very low and I, I didn't realize it. And then it just went off and I thought that I was filming and so we lost quite a few of the footage so um i made purple from mixing the blue with the red to make the purple and the green i mixed yellow i think we only i just started painting um the tertiary colors so let me just explain it so first thing we painted the primary colors then we painted the complementary colors and a tertiary color is adding a primary color to the the complementary color so for this because um your the orange is closer to the red so you add a little bit of red and a little bit more red in the mixture that you've mixed already so you get it as it's getting closer to red you will see that the color gets uh the orange would become more um redder and likewise as we have yellow here and it's orange so i added more yellow to it and um as you get closer to the orange the the color intensifies but as it gets closer to the yellow it becomes a lighter um orange all right so now we are going to paint um add yellow to our green for um all right so that's what we're going to do now so we wet our brush and we add a little bit of yellow to this green mixture so i'm just going to put a blob here like that i'm going to try to do this really quickly because i've noticed 
that my battery doesn't hold for too long unfortunately so yeah uh, it's unfortunate for me so I'm going to um, let's put a little bit more yellow because it's still a little green so that should do the trick I think so we'll just add this yellow to the first one and then we'll add a little bit more so that should be the do the trick and then we'll, we'll add more yellow to that mixture hopefully to get it really really like a lime green color this is a this is quite a pretty lime green and uh you know when i think of the color green i think of nature it's very calming you know and um, green is a cool color and uh yeah when i paint in this it's like a, almost a relaxing color remember it's also you're adding yellow which is a yellow which means happy happiness and so this uh, the, the blue the calmness of the blue the green um you add in yellow brings a kind of um you know it just calms the whole um your whole feeling and so we're going to add more yellow to that green mixture add a bit more and hopefully that's going to be a lot more lighter to this mixture which i think that's what it is very light so we have a light very light lime green here like that so there we have that part done and i want to do it really quickly because i have a feeling that this might just ha either gets heated up my um my camera it's it 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 uh overheats and so it just stops and i'm not aware of it because i'm so engrossed in my painting tutorial that i don't even notice that it's gone off so that there we are so we have now um green and so we're going to use the same complementary um color green and we're going to add blue to that so we're going to add a little bit of blue and a little bit of blue to me as we're getting closer to it so here we have the green i have if you look in my palette on that side, i left that side deliberately so that i can add the blue to it so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to add blue to this green like that a little bit i just hope that it be able to mix well let's just see the only way we will know is by what uh, let's just see what happens so here we have the blue we mixed it with the green like that yeah and so we're gonna have yeah you can see that's a little darker good than this green here so that's great and we're gonna add two more drops to that mixture and see what happens to whether it gets it really uh, dark, darker still. So let's just paint this very quickly. I have to try my best to work quicker because of the battery power that's on my camera. It's not very, um, it doesn't last very long, unfortunately, I'm afraid. Okay, so let's try it again. We're going to add two drops of blue to that mixture that I have on the side of my palette like that can you see it boys and girls and we're going to mix that up and so hopefully it's not going to be blue but it's still going to be on the blue green side but it's going to be darker than the uh the, the green that I just put down so uh, I'm going to put a bit more because it's not dark enough just put a little bit more all right, let's see. Hopefully it'll be all right. Let's see. Yeah, that should work. So as it gets closer to the blue, it gets darker. So I'm going to just put this like that. And uh, yeah. Yeah. 
that should do the trick. So let's just quickly do this. So that this is, you know, this is this exercise is quite useful because it's uh, helping you to understand better colors. And when you add a little bit of something, uh, even with water, when you add water, you can lighten up your color. And so, you know, it's just so wonderful to create and to blend and to do all these wonderful things because, um, it, you know, it gives you experience um, with colors. And yeah, I mean, boys and girls, this is a, an excellent way of uh, familiarizing yourself with colors so that you know when you're left on your own to do your own painting you can just go ahead and you know feel free to mix as many colors as you wish and and just watch it it's just so satisfying uh, to see yeah your work being transformed really so um we're going to the purple now and we're going to have it one side going to be um, so let me just activate it a little bit. Actually, I have a, sometimes it's good to have a spray rather than using the water. I just spray it, you know, with just water, just ordinary water. And I just spray it just to activate the color because, um, I had to recharge the camera so that the battery, so that, uh, I can, um, continue with my filming. So then here we have the purple mixture and we're going to go ahead and add um, because it's closer to blue we're going to add one drop of blue right here like that very carefully oops oh dear I just drip some water but when it dries it will be okay so we're going to add um, one drop of blue to this mixture like that mix it really well right and then we're going to add another drop of blue to this so as it gets closer to the blue the color intensifies so we're going to do that to that to that um segment shall we say so you can see that this purple has a little blue, still has the little, you know, the, the reddish mixture. And uh, be careful not to smudge your painting. Remember, it's still wet, so I have to do the, the same. And I, you have to be very conscious when you're laying down colors because you can smudge it so easily and disappoint yourself and, you know, get all upset and because, you know, you work so hard and then it's, got smudged by your by your hands so there we go we have that this is like a bluish added one drop of blue here so we're going to add another drop of blue to this mixture like that so I'm gonna, oops that was two drops anyway it doesn't matter let's just mix it all up now i just hope it's not too much like that i think it's still good it will be all right so yeah there we go we have this color which is like a clo is closer to the blue um it's a deeper blue so we're just going to paint that in oopsie keep forgetting i have green paint and i don't want to have a green finger and we're just going to quickly go down that line like that very swiftly and with the purple which is a deeper purple than the one that we just did yeah and that's going to be lovely um purplish color but it's more on on the blue side i know that there are some children in my former grade um grade four charity they're now in grade five but they um there's a few uh students who absolutely love the color purple so i'm sure that you have 
quite a few to choose from. You have all that array. And now we're going to go to the other section, the other side of the color wheel, the tertiary purple. We're going to add red to the other mixture of that purple. So we're going to do that now. So let me just take a rinse out my um, brush. And so this time I'm going to add a little bit of red to my purple. And so we're going to drop one drop of red and then another drop of red. So let's shake out the red because I find the red is a little bit runny. That's probably because I didn't mix it well. So we're going to drop one drop of red like that. Let's see how that looks. And so that's going to be for this this segment here. So let's just mix it up nicely like that. Good. Going to have that. So it's, you can see it's a little bit redder. It's a little bit more red. Actually, I think I should just put some more red in there. One more. Because um, it's, it's a little close, so we just need it just to, an ounce more red and then we're going to add more red to that mixture as it gets closer to it so all this it you know you can actually see that this is almost like a maroon color a burgundy color it's quite pretty you know um and that's the color we get when we add more red to our purple that we have so it has more red in it than blue. And then we're going to add two more drops of that red. One, two. And then we're going to mix it again to put it in the last segment. And boys and girls, that would be it for today. That's, that's our work cut, off for, cut out for us today. Let me just add one more drop because... Oh, two more drops. Because it's still a little bit close to that colour so we're just going to add that like that and then let's see yeah that's better and it's a deep reddish colour but we can still see the purple hue in it as we're going along so uh, boys and girls that's it this is tertiary colours we are uh, moving on uh, a higher level now with regards to the Color wheel. We are learning about tertiary colors, which are um, color pri um, complementary colors uh, that we add primary colors to. And as we go closer to the primary color, we intensify the amount of drops that we add to our complementary color. All right, boys and girls, that's it now. I can't wait to see your work and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Boys and girls, here we have the two finished painting. The, you can see the tertiary colours and how they blend in very nicely. And for here we have the um, tint of these colours, just adding white. And the shade of this colour by adding blue. So, um, black, I beg your pardon. So for the blue I added black, for the purple I added black, red I added black orange I added black, uh, the yellow I added black, and for the green I added black. Bye!